Okay, so let's take a look at feed map package in R. So basically, we are going to first open our studio and then install this particular package. So this package is similar to heat map in uh, ggplot2 or lattice package. So this is different. Uh, it has few changes. So we will take a look at some of them. So first thing is typing install.packages and here you type in feed map right now next thing would be to creating our test data so i have opened our script here okay so the package is installed and in our script i'm going to call for this package so feed map next think of test data so set seed to one or if you want set to eight for larger data so here let's first think of matrix r norm 200 and then 10 10 right next is column names for this matrix where we are going to think of columns from 1 to 10 right and we will name it accordingly right then row names right and here we will be pasting so paste row and here within that we have 1 to 10 rows so 10 rows 10 columns and their respective row and column names right and now what you can do is view this so first thing we will run the library right and once it is called we can move on to test data so we will select entire test data statements run it and here we have data in tabular form right if you click on this it should show the tabular form right so here you see 10 rows and 10 columns and based on your code here you see matrix random and then 10 by 10 right so we have our data ready next thing would be calling fit map so feed map and we will be passing in our matrix data so if i run this let's look for plot here you see legend on the right showing for respective row and columns values and here you see dendrograms right we can modify some of the properties related to dendrogram in each side be it for column or for rows right so we can normalize this within feed map we pass our matrix and also for scale we'll be passing column right so it will normalize using scale argument right so if i run this statement it will show you the change accordingly also there will be change in color as well and that will be visible within legend so this is the part which we call legend right then we have these dendrograms for rows and the one at top will be dendrograms for columns right so there are a few values we can set right so display values we can set them to true or false and for example let me show you so display numbers right so if i want to display numbers within the feed map i can set this parameter to true and if i run this it should show me the respective numbers within that particular row and columns block right and i can also set the color so numbers or number underscore color set to let's say black 
and here let's say font size number set to 8 if I run this it should change the output right and you will notice that change right apart from that we can also create clusters so for cluster what we can do we will remove this right and here we will be adding variable k so k is for our cluster so basically k means underscore k right here you can read about it clustering perform k means clustering on a data matrix right so let's say if i want to add cluster for three and we also change the height and create a specific square around that cluster with the color right so what we can do at first is we will set it for three and also see cell height and width so for cell height let me put value of 50 right and statement i will run this right and here you see we have cell height of 50 here and it's a cluster of three here right similarly there are a few things to do like you can also set the cell width right if you want so that can be done as well based on your requirements so we have cluster you can set the cell height and width for those clusters as well another thing would be to basically remove the row and columns dendrogram right so say cluster rows right and if i set this to false we will remove the dendrograms for that of rows and you see the rows dendrograms is removed we only have columns dendrograms so if i choose to let's say remove cluster then columns so calls set to false right and if i run this it will have one for row but for column it will be missing so let's add both so cluster underscore rows set to false you can keep one true and one false as well or both false so if i run this statement and we have both column and rows uh, cluster dendrogram removed right so next thing would be removing this and then think of color themes right so for now you know border underscore color which can be set to black let's see for red and if i close this and run it i can have black borders or you can have any other colors right another option we can add a theme with color equals to hcl dot colors right so this function we will be taking a look at then we use 50 and then we use color like B L U Y then L. Let's try and uh, experiment with this particular. So run this. Okay, so we have one thing missing which is our bracket. So let's run this again. And there you go. So now here you see the change in color right so theme is a bit changed here right you can play around with this particular theme and have variation so if you want something like uh, red to yellow palette you can do so this one is basically like that moves from the yellowish to dark green right so that's the color theme that i have used here so if you have any other specific options 
यू कैन कंटिन्यू टू एड एंड मेक इट और पर्सनल टाइप ऑफ फीट मैप फॉर योर प्रोजेक्ट राइट सो वी हैव सीन द बेसिक फीट मैप देन इट्स नॉर्मलाइज वर्जन देन वी चेंज सम ऑफ द डिस्प्ले वैल्यूज देन कलर्स फोन साइज वी ऑल्सो एडेड क्लस्टर्स देन रिमूव डेंडोग्राम्स एंड फाइनली वी लुक एट कलर पैलेट एंड थीम ऑफ दैट